On page 303, we're told we've got to solve simultaneous equations where one is linear, straight line, and the other one is quadratic, usually this way around. And um, that's what I do, got to solve them, but graphically, however. So it's taken an awful long time to produce these on the screen. I've got about four or so ready to go. This is question one, question one C, to take like a middle question, or, you know, rated a grade A. Um, so I've got to draw these lines then, and I've drawn the line y equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. And there it is, the blue one there. Um, what we do, of course, you know, you take the, the x values. We're told to go from minus 2 to 5, so I did that. I substituted minus 2 where the x is, there and there, and just calculated these. I'll just talk you through the first one, because I don't want to leave you stranded. Well, minus 2 squared is, just right here, is 4. And minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. And we've got minus 4 at the end of it. So we've got um, 4 plus 6 is 10, minus 4 is 6. And that's where that came from there. Right, that is getting in the way of my calculations going forward. So that's it. Shove it in, work it out. Again, if, if in doubt, use a calculator. And use the bracket function on the calculator as well. So these are the coordinates that we generate. So minus 2, y is 6. When x is minus 1, y is 0. When x is 4, um, y is 0 again. So you get this lovely beautiful characteristic curve of a quadratic that's involved, that's involved with x squared as opposed to minus x squared that goes that way. And I also have to plot the line y equals x plus 1. Well, very simple. I made x equals a 0, therefore I'm left with y equals 1, hence the coordinate um, 0, 1. And in this occasion, you know, I use the same equation, obviously I need two coordinates to get a straight line, and it's a linear equation anyway, obviously. So I made y 0, so Y, so x plus 1 is 0, therefore x must be minus 1, hence minus 1, 0. And these are the two coordinates I've created. And there we have it. We have minus 1, 0, and there's the other one, sorry. Uh, minus 1, 0, and 0, minus 1. So I made a straight line straight through there and let it cut in two places. Well, the solutions for x and y are going to be there and there. Just put a little yellow ring around it, just highlight it. So that's one solution and that's the other solution. And here they are in two pairs, so to speak. Let's change colour, it stands out. So what are my solution? With that one, I've got a value of x equal to minus one, and the value of y equals to zero. That's one little lot there. And for this one, because it cuts across um, the graph as labelled there in that position. So I've got x equals five, and I've got y equals 6. And it's a little bit messy in the exam to start drawing dotted lines all over the place, but if you, um, well, maybe we should, shouldn't we? Should we just do that quickly? We should actually sort of draw a little dotted line down there, perhaps, but it's going to get too messy for classwork, so I'm not going to do that at all. Right then, so these are the two solutions. And uh, yeah, x is minus 1, y is 0. Next one, x is 5, y is 6. Right, so that's 1c. The next one I produced was the last one, 1e, which is a bit more involved. Please note the equation is y equals 3 plus 2x minus x squared, hence the characteristic upside down u or n shape. And what I've done over here is rearranged the equation just you know, in a more conventional way. So put the minus x squared first, then the uh, 2x as follows, then the, the 3. All right. So that's what it's about. So again, I've plotted the, the graph ready to go. And that's what we've got there. I don't need to talk you through any of it, but the linear equation was 2y, go back to black, 2y equals x plus 4. I made x a 0, so 2y is 4, hence y is 2. Therefore, I've got the coordinate 0, 2. All right, and there's the point 0, 2 that I've plotted. Uh, use the same equation, I need two points for a straight line. I made, instead of making the, um, the y 0, I'll end up with x being minus 4, and I have to come off the scale. So I thought, well, look, I'm going to make the... Um, the x2, so I've got 2y equals 2 plus 4, there's the 2 and there's the 4, so 2y is 6, from which we get y equals 3, so I've plotted the point 2, 3, and it just happens to be the point of intersection, uh, I didn't plan it, it just thought it worked out. So what have we got here? Um, we have a point of intersection here, which I'll highlight in yellow, so we're looking at that coordinate right there, and this one, by sheer fluke, happens to be correct anyway. So what have we got? 
just write these down, go for this greeny colour, really nice. So here I've got this within this region here, I've got the, uh, the coordinate um, 3, 2, so x is 2 and y equals 3. And over here I've got, I'm going to go for x equals minus 1, it doesn't look very clear to me, but I'm going to go for it anyway. So x is negative 1, going to be a 1, and I'm going to go for 1.75, I reckon from there to there is about 1.75. So I'm going to say y equals 1.75, or 1 and 3 quarters. Yeah. So that's good enough. All right. Again, in the exam there will be plenty of tolerance, plenty of leeway in terms of the answers and as of course they're exactly on a, on a whole number x and a whole number y but other than that there'll be you know, quite a generous range of answers allowed that's what we've got to do and the long part is of course plotting the the quadratic graph the straight line graph is really quick and easy but there you go it's quite a long question if you have to do one of these from scratch expect to be given five or six marks for this there's an awful lot to do more than likely you, you'll be given a table that's mostly completed you calculate one or two coordinates get a couple of marks, plot the graph, get another mark, then draw the linear equation, get another two marks, and then go for the solutions and get your other two marks. So it's quite expensive really. And that's really question one, page 304, question two. I've got to draw the graph of y equals x squared minus 5x plus 4. That's already done. I merely substituted the values of x from 0 to 5 into the equation in the correct place there and there, as you can see, very straightforward there. These are all my x squared, these are my minus 5x's plus the 4. Got the coordinates, plotted the graph, labeled the graph, and it's a standard x squared looking graph like that. It's beautiful. Uh, just to highlight again, the x axis is y equals 0 as an equation. All the y lines go across there, as you know. Um, so let's just begin to do part B that says use your graph, that's this one here, and suitable straight lines. So we have to plot straight line graphs now to solve these equations. Now each one requires a different equation. So if I look at um, the question itself. Here's the question. It says, I've got to solve x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, then let's just compare it with the original. I've got y equals x squared minus 5x plus 4. Uh, what do I need to do to that to make it into that? Well, it's all exactly the same. So all I have to do really is to plot the line y equals 0. It's straightforward, isn't it? So there's the line y equals 0 part of the axis, which is, well it is the x-axis, so we have two solutions here, we have x equals 1 and x equals 4, that's the two answers. Let's just do the second one now. The equation to be solved is this one, it's x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0, again compare with the original, um, x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. How do you get from 6 to 4, you can subtract 2 haven't you, so I've got minus 2 from each end, so the graph will be y equals minus 2, is that alright? Take it minus 2 away from each end, um, y equals minus 2, so therefore just put in the line y equals minus 2, there it is right across there, and it's lovely and clear, and we'll label it in blue, so this is y equals negative 2, which makes sense for that to be y equals 0, and that will be um, y equals 2, for example. Again, the two solutions are really, really clear. I've got x equals 2 and x equals 3, where this line cuts the, cuts the graph in two places. Again, this line is still a graph, don't get me wrong. Um, but let's just go for the solutions now. I've got x equals 2 and x, excuse me, and x equals 3 the points of intersection with the curve. And the last one's going to be, I've got to solve x squared minus 6x plus 5 comes to 0. Again, comparing the original, I've got y equals x squared minus 5x plus 4 plotted there, haven't I? So let's just take a look. Do a quick transformation in blue. Right. Now, how do you get from there to there? Well, x squared and x squared match perfectly. From minus 6x to minus 5x, we need to just add an x to that, don't we, to make it match. And how do you get from 5 to 4? You need to subtract 1 from each side. So I have the equation y equals x minus 1. Let's put that minus 1 inside that, so it looks like it's not meant to be there. 
So there we go, that's the graph of y equals x minus 1. So here I used y equals 0. Here I used y equals minus 2. There it is. Here I'm going to use y equals x minus 1. Very, very easy to plot. Uh, I don't know, let's just do it verbally. If you, pay, if you take 0 as the value of x, and then 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So I've got the point 0 minus 1. And I plotted it earlier in my planning. And um, if I take another value, I don't know, let's take x equals 4, for example. So when x equals 4, then 4 minus 1 is 3. I could plot the point 4, 3, which is there. And there's my lovely straight line. So let's try and put that in carefully. Starting from 0 minus 1. Seems sensible. Put it straight through that one. Um, yeah, that looks really, really clear. And we'll label it in blue, as is traditional nowadays. So this is the line y equals x minus 1. And the two solutions are um, that one right there and that one right there. And I make that x equals 1. Bang on. And I make that one x equals... It's not brilliant, but I'll try. I'm going for x equals 5. I think it wants to be 5. I'm loath to call that 5.1 because it's just due to the, the wobbly curve. So I would call that x equals 5, and these are my two solutions, right? And that's question two done.